Advisory Committee allows individuals of, in the public to have input into the MTA system. It also provides us a viewpoint of what it, the workings behind the system are so that we can truly make um, valuable, have valuable say in what's going on. Maryland Transit Administration has been doing a terrific job in getting the word out about the Baltimore Link Project. As my role as the chair of the CAC, I would like to enhance that and be able to get the grassroots efforts out. What I hope to accomplish by being on the council is um, to be able to understand things that are going on with the service myself and also to be able to give that information to others, but also to give ideas and things I think that Mark could do to make my commute better. The transit system, which includes all the modes, the trains, the buses, et cetera, uh, will hopefully, through the commentary and the participation of this committee, uh, will improve because they will hear the comments. They may not be able to, to react, nor should they be able to react to every, every point that's brought forward, but they will hear a majority of those, and where they can, they will address them. We're now considering the Baltimore Link Plan, and that's going to be a major overhaul of the bus routes. But I think continuing adaptability of the system to meet the changing needs in the city and in the region. New employers, new growth, we need to be able to adapt. Transportation um, to people is, is extremely important. It helps people get to school. It helps people get to work. And that's why I believe the Citizens Advisory Committee is so important in making sure our riders and our public have a voice. Transportation gets people from point A to point B wherever that needs to be. I happen to use it for work. Other people, there was a woman at the train station this morning who had a medical appointment in Baltimore. She was using it to get there. So um, aside from the fact that it's convenient, um, it's easier than driving, it saves fuel, and it's an efficient system. The reason why I want to make a difference is the people. You know, not everyone has an opportunity to have a car. Uh, people have to commute uh, to and from work, spend time with loved ones, pick up food. Uh, and so how do you make that process easier and remove a lot of those barriers that exist? So that's why it's important. I find it as an opportunity to advocate for fellow riders, um, to become more informed about the MARC service um, that is available to us, um, to advocate for uh, MARC train riders uh, throughout the state and uh, West Virginia. So for me, transportation is important because it connects people together. Um, when I think about uh, even in aviation, uh, we're connecting families together, uh, co-workers together, uh, resources together, things that people need. So transportation is connecting people. Uh, we have a great group uh, that are real, really passionate about getting things done, again, for the people of Baltimore and the, uh, the region. I'm hoping the CAC is going to be able to uh, be effective in getting the word out that, hey, the people that utilize the service are one of the keyest things to letting us know how to do things better. I am visually impaired um, or legally blind. I do have some useful vision, um, sometimes more useful than it should be, or I try to make it to be. Um, but I have to rely on public transportation on a consistent basis. When we're in the public, at least me personally, when I'm in the public, I share some of the things that I am doing personally with different agencies and with MTA. I express to them what the CACAT is and that it's an advisory committee for individuals who are disabled to the MTA and that we work with the CAC which is an advisory committee but it's made up of individuals who use the system as well but they're not disabled. Yes I think we will have the opportunity to have an impact after it's all said and done. We're still a growing process um, and you know getting to know one another but I do honestly believe that they have the best intentions of wanting to listen to what we have to say and how they can best serve the community. I hope to accomplish that uh, we can make this committee um, 
make it accessible to all people and get questions answered. So far, I'm really impressed about how the questions are being answered. But when I come in and see other people on the agenda from this department and that department, I would say, praise the Lord, we're gonna get some action today. <laughs>